small in stature, yet at once Napoleon-esque. So darn clever and entertaining with cardboard Santas and finger paintings. Just an evil ruse they've been feigning cause they're really just short people and desk. What to the S to the up, everybody? Do you have a rash of some sort, Anthony? School teach. Hands at your side, please. Today on Show and Tell, I'd like to show y'all my tats. Uh, you what? It says outlaw, because that's what I am, an outlaw. And this here says school stinks with a dollar sign, because it's all corrupt. And here's a picture of a robot fighting a cowboy, because it looks cool. I kind of ran out of room on the robot. Are you frightened but strangely attracted, huh, Lily? Outlaw. You smeared it. That's not a real tattoo. Hey, I do tattoos my own way, I with magic marker, because I'm an outlaw. It looks like a bee. You mean a butt law? What's a butt law? Maybe it's like when you sit where you're not supposed to sit. You broke a butt law. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Heron! You're on your own, Holmes. Short people and dress. Let's see a show of hands. Short people and dress. Show me your hands. Short people and dress. Who want to rule the land? Your class president has a very special announcement. Go ahead, Georgie. Fellow classmates. Nice wig, sweetheart. Today I am here to proclaim the premise of our annual ceremonious engagement. In English, announce the prom theme. Drum roll, if you please. It is with great pride I present our prom theme, The Spirit of 76. Sucks. Think of it as a call to arms against the scourge of adolescent apathy. Uh, apathy this. <laughs> Dear friends, I believe this is a concept we can really sink our teeth into. You'll give it splinters. My teeth are not wooden. Tis a myth, sir. Spirit of whenever still blows. Ugh, fine. The theme is now Island Paradise. Does this please you all? I love it. I guess that's why he's president, huh, kid? All over the nation, I was born to lead. Bet your bottom dollar, all your shorties at the desk. Let me hear you say, holla, I was born to lead. Watch the believe. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Joey. Hi, Joey. Hi, Doreen. So, uh, where's the school bus? Mm, I don't know. The bus ain't coming. We're gonna be late. We're not gonna make it to school. I bet I know what happened. They accidentally put rocket fuel into the bus's gas tank and it took off like a rocket ship. There's no way they can stop it till it hits the moon. <laughs> <laughs> no way, no way. I know what happened. This giant gorilla escaped from the circus, you know, and grabbed the bus right off the freeway. Yeah, and then he, he, he scratched his big stinky ear with it. <laughs> oh, oh, I got it. You see, an atomic bomb went off. And the radioactivity turned the bus into some kind of radioactive mutant super school bus. Ooh. And right now it's kicking butt at the racetrack. And the gorilla, he's racing too. Yeah, and the gorilla forced the bus off the racetrack and it exploded into a zillion pieces. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I know, I know. These aliens, you know, they came down and beamed the bus aboard their spaceship. The happy kind of aliens? No way. The scary kind of aliens. And the bus driver had to go through all kinds of cool alien experiments. Hey, here comes the bus! Installment Crescent Moon.
Go ahead and cheat. It's just a stupid citizenship test. Are you crazy? You could get sent back to Canada for that. No one will know. Ah! Neil! Oh! <sighs> my leg. I think I broke my leg. Oh, God! I can't breathe. I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't. Why did you lean over? Why did you lean over? It wasn't my fault. You have wings. I didn't think you'd fall. Of course I was gonna fall! You idiot! <laughs> Thank you. Come again. I'm gazing fondly through the steering wheel of life. I'm peeking over the dashboard of my dreams. Well, hello. You must be... Bert. Bert Mossman. This is my daughter, Naomi. Tell the man your name, sweetie. Naomi! Oh, uh... I've taught Naomi a few driving tips just around the neighborhood. She's driven then, be before. Just around the neighborhood. Hmm. Tell the man what I've taught you around the neighborhood. How to drive around the neighborhood. Well, let's see what you know so far. Well then, let, let's put it in drive and see. No, uh, you probably don't get a lot of traffic in your neighborhood, do you? No. Well, you, you, uh, you should always remember to use your turn signal when... Use your turn signal, honey. <clears throat> My turn signal. I, I, I don't mean now. Uh, uh, he doesn't mean now, honey. Before you pull into traffic. Or before pulling, oh, in, into a crowd. Ignore the crowded people, honey. Sorry about that. Uh... <clears throat> uh, let, let, let's try pulling out into traffic again. You want to remember, a turn signal is only a, a, a signal. A turn signal's only a signal, honey. <sighs> right, but you still have to yield to oncoming traffic. On the left? Right, on the left. Right, honey. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Use your signal, honey. We don't have one-way streets in our neighborhood. Uh, listen, just, just, just pull over somewhere. Find a place to pull over, honey. <sighs> it's not you. I, uh, <clears throat> might suggest we trade places for the drive back. I think she'll be much more comfortable with me close by. that he was the first to sail from Europe westwards to Asia, making him the first European to sail the Pacific Ocean, and the first to lead an expedition for the purpose of sailing the <laughs> Although Magellan is often credited with being the first to sail the Philippines, does anyone here know where the Philippines is located? Bruno, do you know the answer to the question? Bruno! Bruno? August 1610, the University of Padua, Italy. Galileo has made his discovery of the moons of Jupiter. His controversial beliefs about the solar-centric universe are scoffed at, but not by one student. Oh yeah. I happen to think that the geocentric universe theory is a bunch of hooey. Can can I say hooey? 
Is that okay? No, no, who is fine? Okay, good. I wasn't sure if I was, you know, being offensive. Ah, oh, for God's sake. You need help with that? No, no, I got it. Please. The Newster! Who are you talking to? You talking about dumbass Galileo? Dude, I swear Nudnik's in love with the guy. Get off! Ah, ah, get, get off, Darren! Get off, Darren! Get off! Ah. Geocentricity rules! I, uh... I need a new roommate. Galileo, did you know my world was spinning? Did you know that Newton's gravity left bumps on my head? Did you know that Mr. Einstein had some theories about my cousins? I used to fling my number twos, that's what Charles Darwin said. What's wrong with you? Jeez! Hold up, okay. Man. Having trouble with your test? Be these questions a mystery? You're in need of a query, fairy. That's me, the exam pixie! <laughs> I'm giving you the answers. Ah, oh, sweet. I totally didn't study. An overachiever, huh? <laughs> okay. What do we got here? Stupid science test. Ooh. Not one of my better subjects. Um, no biggie. Let's get cracking. Uh, I don't know. Carbon? Right carbon. Ooh, he discovered trees and small stones. Stop pressuring me! I'm trying! Todd! What's that word there? Gravity. Whoosh! No clue. We'll go sharpen it! And the answer is mothballs. Woo, I am feeling good about this. A 12? I could have gotten at least a 30, Pixie. Whoa, easy, Todd. There's nothing a little magic pixie dust can't fix. Don't you fret, child, grow a spine, for I'll make this 12 a 99. <laughs> pixie, it still says 12. Oh, that's because... In your face! <laughs> hey! You put. Previously on Freshman Clowns. Sprinkles, you're Dawson's ex. I can't do this to my best friend. Oh, snuggles. This just feels wrong. I know. What if we take off our noses? Okay. <laughs> Dudes, it's spring break. Come on, everybody. Road trip. Woohoo! Dawson, I'm your best friend. When are you going to forgive me for what happened with Sprinkles? I am not talking to you. Fine, then get in the back. You won't even have to see me. I should have seen the signs. I should have realized Bingo was depressed. Oh, no! She's jumping! Oh, I can't look! She's okay! Thank God someone brought that tiny bucket of water. Next time on Freshman Clowns. You didn't think I could do it, but I did. My whole life you've called me a fool. Well, not anymore, Dad. I'm not a dolt or a buffoon. I'm a clown. Short people and death who want to rule the land. Yaza, Mika di Houdini, Chala Dingluinka. Houdini, Pa, Adrenalini. Yaza, Kabu. Swimonga Nabaratoku Adi Hoof 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 Hoof
Dada? Dada? I personally think that we should abolish the entire popular geek system. Normal technically is the average of everything, and in order to be normal, you would have to be the only person alive. The cliques at my school are populars, freaks, the geeks, the musicians, mm -hmm. the jocks, emo kids, gangsters, preppy kids, punkers, and skaters. I think I'm a nerd, emo, punker wannabe. I'm in the losers kind of because I consider myself a loser, not like a loser loser. I'm in the regular kids group because I'm not a geek. I don't play an instrument and I, I love sports, but I just don't go over there. Be weird is not like it's anything to be ashamed of. Conforming is really, really the bad thing. So just chillax, be free, do what you want to do. Not what your parents or teachers or anybody else tells you to just to fit in. Chillax. I admit it, I'm a geek. I'm proud to be a geek. <laughs> it's, it's the geeks who are in cold of the world. Maybe picked on now, but we're gonna be the multi billionaire, so up yours. <laughs> <laughs>
again. I, I, I brought salad. 